Hi guys, so today I want to do a book review of The Gift of Rain by Tan Tuan Eng, and this was published in 2007 by the publishing house Myrmidon. This book is about a man called Philip Hutton, and he is of both Chinese and English descent. He is the son of a British man who is quite a prominent businessman in Malaysia, and of a Chinese woman who died when he was quite young. The book mostly focuses on Philip and his experiences leading up to and during World War II but it's told from the point of view of when Philip is much older he's kind of looking back on his experiences during World War II because of an unlikely visit he receives. One of the main events that happens quite early on in the story is while Philip's family is on vacation he is home alone and he ends up meeting Hayato Endo who is an Aikido master as well as a Japanese diplomat living in Malaysia and who is renting an island near Philip's home. So Philip becomes a pupil of Endo, he's learning Aikido, but he also learns a lot of Endo's philosophical ideas and they have a very rich and interesting and demanding relationship. So things get a lot more complicated as World War II erupts and as the Japanese invasion of Malaysia comes closer and eventually happens. So one of the themes explored in this book is loyalty. Philip is loyal to his family, to his country, but also to his master. And all of these loyalties are a bit conflicting. And sometimes he's doing things to be loyal to one and it ends up going against one of the other aspects of his life and his loyalties definitely clash which causes a lot of conflict not only within himself but with those around him. Another interesting thing that's explored by this book is how Philip feels like an outsider in many many ways. So he feels a bit like an outsider with his family, he is the only child of mixed race in his household and he is also not quite accepted by his Chinese family which uh, is something that is very difficult for him but you get to see a progression about that storyline during the story which I found was really interesting and you get to meet a lot of Philip's Chinese family and this is something that I thought was really well done. The way this book is written is quite cinematic. It's very gripping. It's definitely one of those books that you want to keep reading because you want to see what's going to happen and what I really enjoy is that the author doesn't tell you what's happening. He really shows you what's, what's happening. Another interesting aspect is that the book also explores Philip's experiences after World War II. So these experiences are not dealt with as much as his experiences pre-World War II or during the Second World War, but you do get to see how his actions and how his choices shape the way people view him later on. Like I said, the book is quite cinematic and it's quite a gripping read, which makes it also quite an easy read. It, I don't think it's very complicated to grasp the situation. You learn a lot, but you also don't feel like you're being told too much information. One issue I had with the book is while I felt Philip was a really well-rounded character who was really well developed, some of the other characters felt a bit flat and weren't as well developed. And especially Philip's family, I would have liked to see a bit more development, especially since this book is so long. But it's definitely not a character-driven book. It's definitely driven by the events that take place. So I tend to read more character-driven novels, which is probably why I found it a bit lacking in this regard. But I think that if you're in the mood for something that's really gripping, that's really exciting, but that also makes you learn and makes you interested in a topic that you may not know that much about, I would highly recommend this book. So that was my review of The Gift of Rain. I hope you guys enjoy this review and I'll see you soon.